Hey guys, it's Teppo here, and I hope you guys are all doing well and having a fantastic Thursday. Today I thought about doing something a little bit different and teach you guys about color grading. Color grading specifically when it comes to using curves. But before we get into it, let's roll that intro video. So guys, welcome back. Today we're going to get into color grading with curves. And maybe for some of you guys, curves is one of those tools that's a little bit unfamiliar and I understand why. It can kind of feel a little bit overwhelming at first, a little bit confusing as to what does it actually do and how does it actually work. We're going to go jump into Adobe Premiere, we're going to look at curves and I'm going to teach you how does it work and I'll give you a few tips on how you can create some cool looks to color grade your footage. So let's get into it. So we get in Adobe Premiere, you can use the Lumetri color here but I find it's a little bit easier to use the curves effect from the actual effects tab. And when you open it, you can see that there's four different squares. And the master square is for RGB, which means that it's for exposure. So you see you have this line here, and anything on the right side is for the highlights, and as you go down the line, it's gonna get darker and darker and darker. So for example, if I lift the middle here, it's gonna get brighter, the footage, and if I pull it down, it's gonna get darker. Yeah not looking so good here, but just to see what it does. And then the right side is the brightest part of the footage. So if I click the right side, I pull it down, it's gonna just bring the highlights down. And if I bring the shadows up, it's gonna bring up all the dark spots, all the shadows in the footage. And then you as well have curves for each different color. So you have the red channel, green channel, and the blue channel. But we're gonna specifically look at the master channel first. I'm gonna show you how to use the master channel to create cool cinematic looks for your footage. So this is the birth, so this is the first basic look that you can create with curves. A basic contrast look to bring back the contrast and the vibrancy to your footage when you've been filming with a flat profile. Now, the second look that you can do is, is called the lifted shadows look. And a lot of people like this vintage filmic look that you can create. And the way you do it is you do the same, do the S curve. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the shadows and then you're gonna lift the tail. See the higher lifted look, it almost looks like the blacks get shiny. And that's what happens when you lift the shadows. So you can bring it down here as well, and you can see how it's gonna give that kind of lifted shadows look. Now if I go turn it on and off, you're gonna see. And it's, if it's looking too dark, you can lift up the middle, the mid-tones, and you can lift the shadows here. So that's the lifted shadows look. And depending on how lifted you want, you can go up and down on the end here. Now the third look that I like, and I use often for my footage is, is that I create the S curve, like in the beginning, but then I like to bring down the highlights down. And I like to bring it down maybe here, maybe not so much on the shadows. And you can just see here, it's a really simple but effective look, and it gives a nice soft look for the highlights, so they're not blown out and they're not too much, but looks that nice look. And so these are three basic looks that you can do with curves alone, just by affecting the master channel. So you can make the basic S-curve to add contrast and add some more vibrancy back to your footage when you've been filming with a flat profile. Or you can create the lifted shadows look to get that vintage filmic look. Or then you can drop the highlights down to get that nice filmic soft look that I often like for my footage. Now, what do the other colors do? What can you do with them? Well, I'll put back the S-curve. And what you can do here is then with the colors, you can try to create a more filmic look. So for example, by adjusting the colors, you can create a more filmic look and adjusting the grade. So for example, you can lift the shadows out of each different one and add maybe a little bit of a red tint to the footage or a little bit of blue tint to the footage or then some green tint to the footage, depending on what kind of look you're going for. But as well, you can even get more complex by lifting, for example, the blue shadows and then you can drop down the highlights to bring some yellow into it. For example, something like that. So that's giving this kind of like vintage, filmic, indie look to your footage, how it go before and after. So as you can see, the RGB curves, it can look a little bit overwhelming, but when you start playing around with it, it's actually a very powerful tool when it comes to color grading. So when you're working in Premiere, just try fooling around with the footage. Just try different looks in the curves and see what you can come up with. I'd love to see what kind of looks you're coming up with the curves. So if you try out this technique, Take a screenshot of the footage that you're grading and show me what kind of looks you've come up with. It's always inspiring to see what other people are coming up with different tools in Adobe Premiere to grade their footage. <laughs> 